Hi there, and welcome to Steph's Usborn Book Party. Um, so I'm going to show a nice variety of books that we have for those age groups and hopefully the interests that your children are interested in. I'm going to start off with a few activity books and then I'm going to move on to a few other reading options as well. Um, so I'm going to start off with the popular wind-up books. So little ones just love these. They double as a book and a toy. So what you have here is you got these big tracks. So you can see that it's cut out. So then you wind up Santa Claus and he buzzes live right along those tracks. So it does have a cute little story with it. It goes, so it says, start here. It says, with his sleigh full of presents, Santa races across the ice, around the elf's house. Bye bye Santa, see you later. Uh, behind the stable and then takes off into the frosty sky. Santa whizz past four snowmen. Can you spot them? So it does have, I believe, four, yes, four tracks in the Santa Claus book. Really gorgeous, bright illustrations in there. A fun Christmas book. And there are other wind-ups to choose it from as well. There are tractors. I think it's just the tractor one that I have in stock currently. And then the Santa Claus one. And then from there, I wanted to show... Oh, Sorry, it's not open yet. Uh, my kids are getting these ones for Christmas Eve this year. So we do have different size puzzles depending on the age group. This is a 30 piece. There are the nine piece, 100 piece, 200 and 300 pieces. So these are the size of the 30 piece puzzles. And these pieces are very durable. We love these puzzles. We do them often, and then each puzzle actually comes with a book as well. So our 30-piece ones come with a picture book. And then the 100-piece puzzles come with a look and find. I wanted to touch base on our snap cards. These are actually a lot of fun. So there's... 52 snap cards. There's 13 matching sets of four. So these are actually a really great multi-purpose game. These can be used as a memory game, go fish, uh, war, old maid, a memory game. So here's what the illustrations look like on them. So this one here is farm. There are other ones as well. Lots of different topics to choose from. There is something for everybody. I wanted to show these. These are our Usborn Minis. These are the perfect stocking stuff for they're about the size of my hand. Uh, so they do go for $5.50. So there are a few different topics to choose from. Spot the differences. Stick people to draw. So depending on what activity your little one enjoys doing. Just give you a little peek inside. So this one has a bunch of different space puzzles. wanted to show these. These are a lot of fun. These are a lot of mess free uh, painting. It's called Magic Painting. So they each come with a paintbrush and what it is is you dip your paintbrush into water and it actually turns these black and white images into nice vibrant colors like the, like the cover. So they are great. They do have that tear off line in them so your um, child can display their artwork as well as the translucent page to stop the water leaking onto the other images. And from there we have our famous white cleans. These are awesome. You can use them again and again. So each one does come with their own white clean marker. So there are so many other white cleans to choose from. These are our normal size. There's a little white clean ones that are about three fourths of the size. There's white clean cards. Um, so this one here is Christmas activities. So the activities are full of different fun activities to do. You got mazes and tracing. And then there's other ones as well. So for little ones, there's uh, ones like ABCs and 123s. And then for older kids, it focuses on other stuff like multiplication or science. 
So in a few reading options, we do have reading books for all the way up. So we have these little board books. We have these little board books for younger ones. They're a hardcover um, little storybook. We have fun phonics readers. So the phonics readers are those fun rhyming books that helps for the children to predict what's going to happen next. They're a lot of fun. So as it says, they dive in pipe ride. Next moment they're stuck. Mole and crow want to turn, but they're both out of luck. And then from there we do have other picture books as well, or we have these minis also make a great stocking stuffer. So I believe these are for, yes, four fifty. So these are our famous Farmer Tales. So it's got those fun characters that everybody loves. There's Poppy and Sam on Apple Tree Farm and their dog Rusty. So these are the a fun little picture book. So these are great. These uh, actually are a dual reader. So you have your small, or sorry, your short sentence at the top for your child to read and then your smaller longer sentences at the bottom for the parent to read or if you've been an advent reader they can of course read it all to themselves or you can read the whole book to your child so there are a lot of ones to choose from then we do have books that are reading series so we focus more on leveled uh kind of books how do they do it this is like, so there's book one through five, and then they have series. So I do have a chart that to compares to our typical ABC, the alphabetical that the school board does, if you need help comparing which ones would work for your child's reading level. And then we go all the way up into chapter books. So there are fun ones that are your paperback copies as well as your hard copper, oh, sorry, hard cover. So then we get into some fun reading books. So I'm gonna start off with the young ones and work our way up. So these ones are absolutely adorable. Uh, my daughter loves these and I love reading them to her. These are so cute. So these are the Are You There Little and then it's the different animals. So this one's a little reindeer. There's a little unicorn, little elephant, lots of fun ones. So as it goes, Are You There Little Reindeer? I can see you looking through the snowflake. It goes, oh, it's not you. It's a big brown bear. Are you there, little reindeer? I can see your fuzzy antlers. So it goes through the book, thinking that it finds the animal till the very end. We find the animal. So, oh, there you are, little reindeer, curled up, sound asleep at the end of a busy day. So these are fun. They have a lot of those peep throughs. They got those cutouts in there, fun finger trails, so lots to feel. And then our famous That's Not My series. I always, always, always have to share these. I absolutely love them. Um, so here's our award-winning That's Not My Puppy. And then I have a fun festive one. Is uh, That's Not My Snowman. So these do have those fun textures on every page. So it goes, That's Not My snow Snowman. Its hat is too soft. So it has that soft texture there for them to connect to the word to the texture so these do have very bright simple illustrations throughout and a fun little tidbit on these is there are a mouse on every page to try to find and of course at the very end that's my snowman its nose is so squashy And then from there, a new series that they came out with um, is, I guess they are still called Lift the Flaps, but they are actually a flap that is built right into the page. So these are awesome for those little hands that aren't quite ready for the big flaps yet. Um, my daughter outgrew, finally learned not to pull on all the flaps right before they came out with these. So we have a lot of books that took a good beating, but um, it's great now that they have this option. It's a lot tougher of a flap. As you can see there, it is built right, it's just an extension of the page. So this one is play hide and seek with tiger, so it goes through with the little animals. My turn now, Sloth, where are you? You found me. So again, they're a very engaging book, very beautiful, bright illustrations.
So these are kind of like a little, or uh, a younger version of a look and find book. So it's very simple. It's a kind of a little bit of a storybook. So it says, who's wearing blue socks? Who's friends with the fox? So it's asking questions to find the thing. So there's who's wearing blue socks and who's friends with the fox. So we got rabbit here. So it's very cute. First step of a look and find. Next are our sound books. So these are great. These have on off switches on the back, which is an added bonus. Oops. Um, so this one here is our woodland sounds. So these have those buttons. As you can tell there, I didn't really push it. Um, you rub your finger along to hear those realistic noises. So it's got those really easy buttons, which is great for little hands. It's got fun cutouts, little peep throughs into the next page. So lots to feel, and it's got a cute story. It says, a thirsty fox takes a drink from the rippling river while a playful otter splashes about in the water. And then of course a fun festive one is Winter Wonderland. And then some great Siri ones for uh, the little ones. Is these are the very first questions and answers. So these are great for those little ones who have a lot to ask a lot of questions. So these ones focus on a younger age group. So they're a lot uh, more specific on the information. So what are germs? Tiny living things. So then underneath your flap, you got a bit more information. It says germs are so tiny you can't see them unless you zoom up really close with a clever machine called a microscope. Then it goes on, but what are germs? So it says we are viruses and bacteria. And then it goes through asking of telling about where germs live, how they spread, how our body can fight them. So there's a lot of fun little facts to answer that question that children might be curious on are what are germs, especially right now during a pandemic. Um, there are other ones in the series as well. This is what is snow. So it says, what is snow? It's what flutters down on freezing days. It's silent, chilly, and magical too. But have you ever been in the snow? So these are great to start to answer that first stage of questions that they might have. Then we have a Peep Inside series. There's Peep Inside Dinosaurs, Peep Inside the Farm. Depending on what your child's interest is, there are other topics as well. So it's little facts about peeping inside a farm. You got those fun flaps in there. You got the little peek throughs. Whoops, this is ours. Must have been reading with some sticky fingers. <laughs> And I wanted to show these. This is a big book of colors. There's also a big book of ABCs. There's nursery rhymes, counting to 100. So these are a lot of fun. Another one of our much loved ones. There's a color wheel here. So it does turn around to um, match the colors. So it goes through on each page. It's got everything that's blue, lots of fun stuff that's green. And it goes through with all your colors to the end. You have this translucent page on the back that changes the color of what you're seeing. Another fun series that's newer is our Don't Tickle series. So again, it has the on off button on the switch, or sorry, on off button on the back. So it says, don't tickle the hippo, you might make him snort. So it's got this fun texture on the hippo here that you tickle that makes it snort. 
It's very cute. Goes through, you got your parrot, you might make it squawk. Your bear. <laughs> okay. Not the very end. Oh no, now look what you've done. <laughs> so that's a very cute, fun book. Um, we also have our popular pop ups. These are absolutely gorgeous. It's too bad we can't show you in person because these pop-ups are absolutely amazing. This one here is for the night before Christmas. So it does have your classic story book with the pop-up. Next are our lift the flaps. These ones focus for youngers. This is a uh, seasons and weathers. There's colors, lift the flap my day. So they are very engaging. So you have those fun flaps. So it says, spring in the country. In spring, flowers and insects come out and there are lots of baby animals. So it says, lift the flaps in the big picture to find a butterfly, a bumblebee. So it goes through with a list to find. So it encourages to lift the flaps throughout to see what you can find. So pink blossoms, baby birds, daffodils so it does go through this one is season so it goes through with your different seasons and weather so you got summer fall so it encourages you to find these fun fall items in the bigger picture behind the flaps this is a newer one so there are multiple flaps throughout i should say it's kind of hard to see so we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen so it's got lots of fun flaps to find on each page um, changing weather, so it's about to rain in the town. Lift the flaps to see how the rain changes things. So it encourages them to see how it changes all of a sudden. There's rain everywhere. I bet the little ones have the umbrellas and raincoats. Um, seasonal changes. Lift the flaps to see things that change with season. So in winter, our houses end up with icicles. In the summer, flowers end up with blossoms and bugs. So these lift the flaps are a lot of fun and very engaging for little ones. I also wanted to show these listen and listen and read. So as it says, it actually has an automated voice in here that reads your story. So it does have a great uh, narrator voice in there. It's got those beautiful illustrations to follow. And then on each page, it does have a new button for the little one to press as they switch the page. So this is your classic Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Next, as we get into a few older ones. Um, so this is my very first. So this one is animal books. There's my very first dinosaur, my very first outdoors book. So it does go through. It's got cardstock pages and it's got fun information throughout. This one here is on animals. So your different animals and how they grow up. A place to live. So where all the different animals live, eating. So it goes through. It's actually got lots of fun facts within these books. Next are our lift the flaps for older ch children. This is Bugs and Butterflies. There's also a few in our STEM series as well. So as you can tell, as you get books for older ch children, the facts in it do get more um, advanced. Still lots of fun flaps to read within each. Buzzing bees, butterflies. So it's got lots of fun facts on butterflies. So it says, how do butterflies make more butterflies? First, each butterfly needs to find a mate. So under, underneath, others open and close their wings to show off their pretty patterns. So it goes through your steps. Two, three, four, five, six. 
with more facts underneath each. Bug homes, bug facts, so lots of fun information. And then we also have questions and answers. So it does kind of, we have our very first with the water germs, then your, there's your first questions and answers, and then you get to your classic questions and answers. So these ones here focus on the five W's, where, why, which, who, how, or sorry, what, how, and yes, and a no page. So this one here is on food. So there are lots of other ones to choose from as well. So how, so the questions of how, how much food do we need each day? So we got our answers beneath each flap. Uh, why can't I eat cake all day? Oh, I wish. Because it would give your body too much of the things you don't need and too little of the things you do. So fats and sugars, protein, fiber, and vitamins. So these books are great for those questions who love to learn, love, 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 love it. Lots of fun facts. So there's questions and answers about food. There's questions and answers about plastic, about growing up. So there are something for anything that they might be wondering. So then there's our look inside series. So this went from our little peep insides to the peep insides to the look insides. So this one here is a popular one of my son who is five. He unfortunately had lost his copy last summer and I was waiting and waiting and waiting for it to come back in stock. So finally in the summer, it did. So I'm saving this one for Christmas, so he could be pretty surprised. Um, the fun thing about these ones is they actually have flaps within flaps and more flaps. I'm trying to think if I can open one without wrecking them because it's, it's gonna be quite the surprise. Um, it's kind of like our look inside the body, which I showed a lot last year. Um, so as you can see here, it's got like this little flap and it's got a bigger flap. So it's got those flaps within flaps. And then from there we have our big book of, so these are a great book to lay on the floor. Jackson and Clara love looking at these illustrations together. So that's like a four page fold out. And there's multiple, multi, multiple ones in here to fold out. Another four page. And then a couple fun learning books I want to put on or to show. These are our beginner series. So here's a couple other options to choose from. So we really do cover, I think it's about 60 different interests. And it's fun of um, realistic images. And then it's got your fun cartoon ones as well. And it's just full of fun facts. This one's on firefighters. So at the station, all day and night, firefighters have to be ready to answer an emergency call. The team arrives at work for work and reports to the leader. The firefighters check their fire engine, hoses, and tools. Their meals are cooked in the fire station kitchen. Firefighters at night duty sleep in beds at the fire station. So those have lots of fun facts in them. And then a step up from those are our discovery ones. So these are actually really neat as well. These do come with internet links to direct your child onto the internet to learn even more. Um, so I know that was a lot to show, so it might have been a little overwhelming, but if you have any questions, don't uh, hesitate to ask. I am here to help. Um, if you let me know an age group and an interest, I can definitely make a few suggestions for you to choose from as well. Um, so let's help our hostess get some amazing rewards. We'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.